Hi, Alan Stratton from Aswood Turns. I'm always on the lookout for ideas that I can turn into a wood turning project. The other day I was at the public library in their maker space where they have 3D printers and such and uh, other gear, but my interest is the 3D printer. And they had this weird looking little bunny, but once you put an egg in it, it looks great. Actually, their version was to hold a chocolate egg, one of those foil wrapped from Cadbury, but why not make it so that it can hold a wooden egg also? Uh, for those who are calorie conscious, this is the low-cal version and wood-turning version of the egg for this bunny. I thought it was cute, and so I hustled home, got one, and said, okay, let's do it. So where do you get the rabbit? Well, find your makerspace in a local library, download the the pattern from Thingiverse and you're off and running and you know how to make the eggs or at least I'll tell you how in this video. Meanwhile remember that uh, best way to hold on a round thing is the wooden collet chuck that we showed a couple of weeks ago goes in a standard wood turning chuck and make them up in strips so it looks like I have two more before I need to make another batch. So let's go ahead and make this locale egg for Easter. This chunk of laminated wood has been laying around my shop for a long time. I don't remember what project it came from. It's probably walnut, maple, cherry, and maybe something else. I tried cutting it on an angle to have the layers run diagonally to the finished egg, but I messed up and cut the wrong corner and had to cut again. It wound up running parallel to the axis of the egg, so rough rounding was a bit harder than usual with my bowl gouge. Measuring the rabbit, I figure the egg needs to be about 1.8 inches long. Since an ideal egg is 1.29 times its diameter, that means the diameter needs to be about 1.4 inches. I'm just under that diameter now, so my egg will not be quite an ideal egg. But I can use these factors to mark the widest point, the big end, and the little end. I'm not going to eat it, so I will not worry about big enders versus little enders. With the marks made, I can cut quickly down to a smaller diameter at the end marks, then round over the big end from the wide mark to the big end. The curve from the wide part to the little end is a bit more gradual. It looks good to me for a rabbit egg. Now for sanding. Since the egg is so small, I'm starting with a 120 grit. 80 grit would reduce the diameter too much. I progressed up to 400 grit. Then applied shellac friction polish to most of the egg and rubbed it in at high speed. Now to finish both ends. Yes, I could hand sand them. Yes, I could use the egg chuck from a couple of years ago, but why not use the wood collet? I did make some spares when doing my Valentine's heart. Why not? I need to reduce the diameter just a little bit. I almost need to make a set a size bigger for my larger chuck jaws. But this will work for this egg. Then part off the collet. Then bore out the center at 1.25 inches, which is about 50 thousandths too small. With the paper joint between the wood pieces, the collet separated with only finger pressure. Whoops, I forgot the recess for the rubber bands, but that's okay. I don't need to use a tool on the little end. Sandpaper will do fine before applying shellac and blending it back to the previous finish. I'm swapping the egg around to finish the big end. I'm liking the wood collet much better than the previous egg chuck. It holds fine. I don't have to size a ring to fit the egg and the PVC fitting. The collet's easier. I may never use this wood collet again, but that's okay also. They are easy enough to make that they can be single-use collets. The last thing to do is test the egg with the rabbit. Nice! It seats great. While the wood eggs are nice, I still crave the chocolate variety. But this egg in the holder will help me not eat too much.
There's still time before Easter to get a rabbit printed and to turn multiple eggs from scrap wood. Check your local public libraries for makerspaces or their equivalent. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe on my website, tell your friends, and send me your comments and questions. Every week I make a new wood turning video. Please wear your full face shield, even turning small eggs. Until next week's video, this is Alan Stratton from As Wood Turns.